Hey, look, the car stop. You press a button and the car stop. Isn't that cool? Um, what's poppin' people? It's Dante. Walking around Miami. Very, very nice city, Miami. I really actually like this place. Um, however, it rained in the morning. You know, you get some rainy mornings, um, so it's kind of wet. But I'm walking towards the Aventura Mall, filming with the GoPro Mini, 1080p, 30fps, export to 720p because I like that crispy HD, small file size quality, wearing pink. Um, yeah, Lululemon, all day. Um, so yeah, today I just woke up, did some ChatGPT studies using the voice bot to learn and grow. I think it's a great tool to uh, use, you know, when you wake up in the morning, there's no need for music, there's no need for podcasts, there's no need for mindless entertainment and num numbing your brain with scrolling on the phone, social media. You know, to me, it's funny. It's like social media is dead. Um, I feel like we're going to see this change in the use case of social media, perhaps. And um, there's actually no need, right? And to me, it seems as though ChatGPT is going to be the replacement for Google, right? Where we don't need Google. You just ChatGPT it. So, yeah, the uh, use of AI has been a very interesting addition to my workflow. Highly recommend anyone download it. Um, pay for the subscription and see what you can do because actually using the pro version where you have Dolly 3, this uh, sort of bot that helps you visualize things and generate images can be implemented for an artist's work workflow. So if you're an artist, I highly suggest uh, coming up with creative visualization ideas and helping your vision and your thoughts come to life. I mean, really, it's it's interesting. You can visualize anything that you desire, right? Um, just playing with the uh, tool yesterday, making beautiful woman, <laughs> generating images of beautiful Italian woman with uh, a joyous smile on the beach with tan skin, right? You can be very specific and um, generate these images that are like Honestly, they look realistic. Like, it's kind of crazy. I'm still in shock and all. But the idea with that is like, uh, I don't know, I was thinking a lot of people that I've met, a lot of guys, right, they go on the Instagrams to look at women a lot of the time, right? They're looking at the pretty girls and their selfies and photos. You can just generate it with the AI. Like, there's no more need for these kind of things. It's kind of funny. Thought, you know, just, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I see a world post social media that is much more interesting and uh, perhaps better for the society, uh, 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 you know, at whole. Um, so, what other thoughts? Oh, the um, interesting thing I learned today about Agogi, Agogi, I don't know the pronunciation, um, training for Spartans was interesting, right? The Spartans train their children in different uh, forms, combat, you know, survival skills. They even bathed in cold lakes, right? So there's something to be said about that cold therapy, cold showers. I like taking cold showers. I think that actually keeps your body sharp and you become alert early in the morning. Um, it's also just a good thing to overcome. It's like I think it's good to just do things that you don't want to do. It's not like I go in there like, oh, I want to get in a freezing cold shower in the morning. It's like, no, it's just a good way to like overcome a challenge. They also had this uh, way of uh, living in a minimalist approach where they would steal food and as long as they don't get caught, you know, don't give them. <laughs> I thought that was a funny one. But yeah, perhaps it's uh, wise to treat yourself like a Spartan in training and to just constantly uh, be in a state of becoming. Yeah, I actually really do um, appreciate training, appreciate the uh, minimalist approach, the Spartan approach, right? The tech Spartan lifestyle approach using the new tools that we have, such as iPads, GoPros, Ricos, small compact cameras, and 
using them to our advantage to learn and to gain wisdom, gain knowledge. You know, to me it seems as though you actually don't even need a school anymore. What's the point of school? If you can just like have an all-knowing chatbot give you information, what is the function of a teacher? What is the function of a school but a mere prison setting people up for slavery? That's what it seems like to me, right? You, you, you're in school, listen to the bell ring, sit down and shut up and take your notes. Listen to the bell ring, get up, go to school, get up. And you're just like going from classroom to classroom inside. You know, a lot of the schooling, I think, is more like uh, slavery training. Um, <laughs> Look at these girls. These gorillas crack me up when I pass by. I love this installation. It's very cool. Yeah, the Eventer Mall. Apparently this is like the third largest mall in uh, the country. In uh, the outskirts of Philadelphia, we have the King of Prussia Mall, which I believe is the second biggest, which is pretty cool. And... Yeah, there's something about the mall. I actually really like walking around the mall. I don't like buying things. I just like to sort of people watch. Maybe it's a good place to do street photography and to just uh, walk when it's wet outside in general. There's nice glass ceilings so you can uh, get some natural light, which is cool. Um, but yeah, look, become a tech Spartan. Use the chat GPTs. Um, disconnect from social media, start a wordpress.org blog. I use bluehost.com to host my first name, last name, domain, install Astro theme, and start blogging today. I think it's a much more interesting solution where you can share what's on your mind and have your own place to uh, display things. Check out the Tesla bot. <laughs> hey, look, uh, I'm all for this, you know, if there's any tedious jobs that could be replaced by this thing, I mean, why not? I'm starting to even think with a lot of the advertisements you see and these like photos that photographers make for like, I don't know, even like models and stuff, like what's the point? You can literally generate a beautiful image of a model. Um, I love looking at these things like the solar power is probably a really good idea, you know, imagine uh, being fully off the grid with solar. You know, there's something about the sun anyway. It gives me natural power and energy. Check out the Teslas. Butterfly doors. I really like the uh, concept of the Cybertruck and the logo is sick. I think the... Uh, coolest one is this. This one's the coolest. What one is this? The Model S, I think? Yeah. How do they work? Whoa. Check this out. They've got a big screen. This is really cool. They've got music, City Girls, Usher. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a uh, This is cool. I've never actually been inside the Tesla mirror. The doors open with like a touch uh, button. That's pretty nice. I like the interior and this one's like a sports car. It's cool. Side cameras. Look, there's a camera there. Probably uses LiDAR technology and stuff. Small, sick. They got the Tesla store right in the front. Check out the full self driving computer. You know, these motherboards. They almost look like a, uh, <laughs> they almost look like a city when you look at a city from a bird's eye view. Are we in a computer? <laughs> no, no. It's just funny. Um, yeah, look, this is a good look into the future, right? To go into a Tesla store, see a cool humanoid bot. 
it's pretty inspiring, but when I see this kind of art, I mean, it's interesting. I don't think it's beautiful. It's actually kind of dystopian in a way. It's like, is this what the sculptors have come to? <laughs> Remember my time in Rome? Man, I was looking at these beautiful marble statues and depictions of ancient warriors. And now we have these uh, ugly works of art inside malls. So, yeah, one weird thing I realized yesterday, I went to buy some coffee from this like really good coffee shop. You can't pay with cash. If I can't pay with cash, what, like, what is going on, right? Like, what is the function of the dollar anymore, anyways? I wonder if you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. You know, like, what is the uh, future of currency gonna be? I mean, if I can't buy a coffee in the mall with cash, what is it? Cash rolls everything around me, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Paper chasing? Paper chasing, yeah, it's just paper. The paper has no function anymore. I can't even get a coffee. What's up with that? I actually noticed that in an airport recently too, where I couldn't uh, buy a coffee with cash. You know? Like, I genuinely believe these kind of photographs can be replaced with AI. Definitely. And they might even render better. See, this sculpture is kind of cool, this bullet. Wendell Castle veiled in a dream. Yeah, this one's cool. It's functional, you know? It's a chair. I like this one. The material is nice, too. It's interesting to observe these ads and considering the use of chat GPT and how that could play with the photography whoa this one's kind of interesting I like these neon lights you know when they're shaped into some sort of uh, interesting display we should bring those back I like those you don't see those that much anymore in cities there's some places in Philly that uses the mill. Nespresso? Should I go and get a free, uh, free espresso? I see people are tasting. You know, I should just, uh, since I can't, you know, look, what did I learn from my Spartan training, right? Steal, steal the food. Perhaps I should, uh, <laughs> perhaps I should do that because it seems as though, um, you know, you can't pay with cash, so. Look, uh, the Balenciaga store is quite fancy looking, isn't it? Very industrial. I like the industrial aesthetics of the uh, of the exterior, right? These uh, sort of concrete walls. It's very interesting. Yeah, maybe it's. Yeah, I don't know if it's. Yeah, industrial aesthetic. I think rugged is better, right? The rugged sort of aesthetic, it's interesting. So, yeah, this is just a little tour of the mall. Check out the uh, Dior display. They have these like pop-up displays. It's kind of cool. It's like Christmas themed. Good morning. Rolex, one day I'm gonna put ice on my wrist. Said the silly goose. One day I'm gonna put ice on my wrist, man. It'll look really cool. Um, yeah, quick, uh, quick freestyle vlog. In the Aventura Mall. Hang on. I know that it is, but I just want to make sure before I do this. Is the GoPro Mini waterproof? Oh, it's searching on the web. Maybe these things could be faster to Google. 
<laughs> or I shouldn't have used the chat bot. I just wanted to do it for the video's sake. So I like hearing your voice. Yes, the GoPro Mini is waterproof. Specifically, the GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini is designed as a compact, waterproof action camera. It's waterproof right out of the box. It can be submerged underwater to a depth of 33 feet or 10 meters. Thank you. I appreciate that. I just allowed it to uh, go underwater and be submerged to view some koi fish. That sounds like a great use for the GoPro Mini. <laughs> just having fun. Um, how do you access this? They have the ad display. Maybe it's just an ad on one side and then the map on the other. Huh. 